suffering from congestion, aches and pains, harsh cough, violent diarrhea, syphilis, a medically induced coma, bed sores, sore bones, Ouch, my bones high cholesterol, sore. Then ask your medical professional if glycaninastanol is right for you. Our special formula results in an extra creamy product that can help you live a healthy life. Side effects include congestion, hurdy bones, reverse defecation, and a harsh cough. Well, maybe I'll get that ad break right one day. Hello, everyone, and welcome back. Your bones are indeed so hurdy. So we have the new leaderboard, which I'll uh, be displaying in just a moment, if I can actually pick the right file for it. There we go. I think I've managed. Uh, we have Team Polaris at 58, Team Sovereign at 36. It, uh, honestly, for as good of a game they did, I think it goes to show how, like, little points they actually, little points uh, you can actually get out of this, because they played a very, very good game, save for a few mistakes, primarily uh, in regards to the IED and the, uh, and the, the hostage extraction, uh, but they still came away with 58 points, which is less than half, oh, sorry, no, no, sorry, it's more than half, sorry, just barely more than half of, uh, of a perfect score. But we must, of course, remember that a, a non-perfect score, in fact, the worst score possible, is like negative a thousand. Camera mode, there we go. Get off the table, Bob. <laughs> <Sorry. laughs> Hold on, oh, I guess I'm for this. <laughs> nah, we're good, we're good. All right, everyone, welcome back. Okay, <laughs> welcome back to the Platoon Olympics. Sorry, I switched the technical difficulty screens while, uh, while you were knocking your chair over. <laughs> All right, so Moat has just taken to the field. Let me uh, quickly... Oh, God, I just realized I have to grab my uh, my timer. There we go. Uh, they have about 19 minutes left to, uh, to prepare themselves for. I'm going to quickly fly over, switch over the cameras. There you go, and, uh, yeah. and check them out. So... Uh, I'm really keen. I'm really keen to see what they've got. And I'm, I'm, what I'm more keen to do more than anything is if I'm about to add... There we go. Add all of those Ooh. editable objects and... Hey! The ambush has moved! It's not in the it same position. elsewhere. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, uh, Skytech's currently inspecting his, uh, his vehicles. He was in chat for round two, so he's currently going to be the artilleryman for round three. He did artillery for round one as well. And, uh, and I know he's quite good at it and quite keen on it. So we'll be... Uh, be keen to see him employing some artillery after uh, after round one. He tried to knock yeah, out a case in round one, so I'm I'm interested to see since he since he knows he can damage them now. I'm mm. interested to see if they do actually knock one out today. If, if this can be the first team to knock a case out with artillery. Uh, oh, yeah. Skytech likes to play artillery. He's oh. pretty pretty good when it comes to artillery in general. But when he's able to lead an artillery element like this, I think he's uh, this is gonna be a, a good doesn't. chance for him to yeah. shine. He may he may just eat fucking shit, but he's gonna try <laughs> oh, to shine at least. Sorry, we just had a little ping. I'm gonna have to get on my chair real quick. All right, well let's do a quick check and we'll see what we've got. Okay, thank God the ambush is uh, the ambush is in the same place it was in the last loading. Uh, this actually looks pretty right. similar. Uh, the only things that have shifted. Oh no. Oh no, the hostage has shifted. I think. Yeah, the hostage shifted. Uh, up the front, we have the striker uh, loaded up there. And then two Humvees. They have gone Humvee central. They've taken pretty much every armed vehicle they can. Uh, here we go. I'm just going to go two minutes in just a moment. Uh, they have a Blackhawk spooling up as well as the attack little bird. Uh, so there you go. That's their, that's their little deployment. The only vehicles they haven't brought is there's one armed truck they didn't bring. Everything else that is armed, they've brought, they haven't brought the uh, the ambulance, though, the MRAP ambulance. They're probably intending to extract him via the, sorry, via the helicopter. So let me, uh, let me run a note. That we need to double check prior to our movement in a column up past. It is a usual spot for... I'm just listening to JTAC right now tell them to, uh, what's it called, to, to check the ambush position. The one that they've been caught by two times before now. Hold on, let me, uh... Yeah, the, the INV mark, so they're, they're, gonna, uh, they're gonna check that out and make sure that they don't get hit by the same ambush. Squad 2? Okay, their plan has changed. Squad 2 looks to be dismounting early. If I, if I have a quick look at the map. Uh, yes, and they're going straight to the hostages. Meanwhile, Squad 1 Yeah, it looks three. like Air was able to recon that out, maybe. No, well, no, they, they won't have lifted yet. off yet. They won't lift it off yet. Uh, the reason why is because they have the... They know where the hostages are. It's on their objective list. 
So they, oh, that's a good point, yeah. Yeah, so they know where the hostages are, they just don't know where the cache, where the pilot, and where the... what? The mortar pit. They don't know where those three objectives are. They know where the hospital is, and they know where the hostages are. Those are the uh, only ones they have pre uh, precognition gotcha. of. I'm trying to keep my eye on it. Whale's actually in the second uh, vehicle. What role is he playing today? Let me quickly check. Good question. Uh, I think he's just some dude. Yeah, he's just a rifleman for 1-1. One, one. There you go. That's well, just a dude. <laughs> All right, just some dude. To reiterate for catapult and wagon, uh, min air altitude. Very interesting stuff. Out. So we're going to finally see the they first did. breach of the city that isn't immediately met with an ambush. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but uh, I'm going to be quite interested to see how it changes this, because honestly, like... Oh, God, I've got some very classical music playing right now. It's very nice. Um, but honestly, that is a that is a huge change because it's a big delay and a, and a fight you've got to push through regardless. So being able to ignore that and just push straight through the city is be a pretty big advantage for these guys. They're going to make some good time. God, I love that most of these Humvees gunners aren't even turned out using them. They just turned in hiding. It's vibing. Uh, here we well, go. They're technically, they're not in enemy territory yet, so... Got a very nice little convoy view. Oh yeah, it's actually really organized. <laughs> Comparatively. Comparatively. And back here we got yeah, Gillen, Skytech on the already. Have they already started firing or? I think so. I, I want to say there was some smoke, but I'm not sure. Okay. Where's that last Humvee? Oh, here it is. <laughs> I was I was doing a vertical shot. There we go. All right. So the ambush is actually out of the way this time. It's unlikely it'll even engage. Yeah, my, my chat has a point. A bad neighborhood is where you roll out the gunners. A worse neighborhood is where you roll in the gunners and keep the button <laughs> Just hide. Yeah. It's not, it's not worth it. To be fair, the, uh, the Humvees, actually, if a bullet goes through them, like an AK bullet goes through the door and hits you, in RHS, the Humvees' doors have enough resistance and your chest plate is generally oh hang on they've just hit the borders there you go that's first yep. objective complete nice work they found that quick yeah. yep and i thought we're gonna take um, out the infantry but they did not take out the bmp no no that's still active but oh, uh, as no, i was saying the, uh, felix, yeah, yeah felix just lays it oh i see i see yeah the ak's uh will go through a door and hit you they won't actually hurt you so the humvees along with your body armor are enough generally to save you from an ambush if you push through quick enough. But if you get hit in the head or everything, you know, then you're still fucked. Lead vehicles approach the squad to dismount. Here we go. Oh, I've also just something I realized is this hostage position here has a GMG UAS, which may be a major problem. Oh, there we go. The air just spawned in. So their defenders are here. Uh, we may see first contact in just a moment. Or well, first ground contact, yep. at least. Yeah, that AGS, okay. that's gonna... That might make hell for someone. <laughs> oh, especially if they're look, they're going to be attacking downhill from the northeast. I'm wondering, yeah, maybe the AGS is going to roll forwards and engage the hospital guys before Squad Two can handle the hostages. Interesting. This has been a, so far and a very quiet convoy. No one uh, turned off the Squad Two dismount. I'm on crash helicopter. Oh no, rookie okay, stopped. Okay, rookie just did. I've just heard the call as well in my ears. Uh, they've called the uh, helicopter in, so they've spotted the helicopter. Nice. Oh. Looks like another. Oh, artillery just, just hit the mortar pit. Just hit the mortar pit. Yeah. Oh no, yeah, yeah, uh, artillery. Friendly yeah. artillery. Oh. Archer, just heard gunfire. Sounds like an HMG. Ooh, Dishcom shooting up at oh, something. Oh, at, no, no, it's up at the uh, at the guys to the north. They're not actually shooting the squad that's attacking it. Oh wow, they're they just hit something over there. <laughs> they just hit one of the crossroads with cluster bomb. Uh, I don't think that was. I think that was meant to be a cluster mine, but they hit it with a cluster round. Let me uh, do a quick load in. Yeah, I don't know what that artillery is aiming for, but that was a pre-planned fire at least. They're planning for the UXOs to be the mines. <laughs> Maybe. But it's actually not that high of a chance. Um, but it is still enough of a bastard that it catches you out. Well, they're advancing down towards the hospital at least. They've got... Uh, oh, oh! About to make first contact with a uh, with a Chidaki in the road. He's running around. Um, so oh, far... Yeah. Oh! I, I don't know what that... Shidaki's aiming at the, the HMG. It's still just firing away in the into the distance. 
Um, it's not even that bad. It's like it's up towards those guys in the north. That blue fort force up there, but it's yeah. just going into the trees. Yeah, I'm just a little surprised. Yeah. Oh, Cryo is doing a little cheeky recce of the cage building. I think. I think he's making sure that it hasn't spawned just north of them this time. Uh, of course, had it spawned, he probably would have just been cut down by like 12 machine guns because he was being alone against the entire cage. Uh, interesting choice. They have abandoned their Humvees on the road there. Looks like both teams... Oh, no, one team's using their uh, their armored truck. The other team... Oh, bring one Humvee. Personally, I would not do that. I would I would want all the force of the Humvee with me, because those things are very nice. Oh. Yeah, these Humvees specifically, yeah. Yeah. Oh, here we go. We've got... Oh, the GMG's on the move. It is flooring up the road. And is it going to get a clean oh, shot? Is it going to get one? This could be it's horrible if it does. Turn around, you fool. No, wait, I no. sense them. I can smell them. Oh, oh here we go. Uh-oh, uh-oh. It no, just, that wall, that wall is saving their fucking life so hard right now. Oh they my god. If they hadn't landed that shot, they would have been fucked. Chunks blow out of All that right. guy. God. Yeah, good god. Oh, hang on. Have these guys gone beneath that? Okay, let me just move them out of the house real quick. Here, gentlemen, move out. There you go. Figure yourselves out, idiots. Sorry. I just If you go back under the house, I have to delete you. Fuck off, you weirdos. Kane's here pushed up a little bit too far and went down in a bush. You're just trying to help oh. him, but I think he's going to meet the same fate here. Yeah, they are unfortunately taking fire from the street to their, uh, to their west. They need to get some vehicles down. Personally, I would have split the squads because they're currently all hitting the same street. Not, uh, not ideal. The HMG actually still has a passenger in it. Uh, but no gunner. If that gunner's brave enough, he knows what to do. Other HMGs still at the location. Uh, infantry deploying out. There's one waiting around the corner they're about to meet. But so far, things are going pretty okay. No deaths on my radar. Mm -hmm. They're all clear. The mines might have been affected the there's, a, there's a weird the deployment. Squad 3 seems to have like... Is that Squad 3? That's Dreamscape's team, right? Let me check. Catapult. Yeah, yeah. Catapult. Squad 3 is is holding kind of uh, northeast. Not exactly what I would have done. I think they might have been uh, making sure that Shidaki reinforcements don't overwhelm them. But if we do a quick check on the map... Oh, no. Hang on. There we go. Never mind. There was, in fact, a Shidaki counterattack. There was a technical that showed up. So it looks like it may be the top right and the top left... At least, those are two confirmed, uh, what do you call it? Reinforcement points. And it looks like they may have destroyed a technical, actually. It might have been the helicopter that's done this. Uh, that was driving along that road. Yeah, there's now these technical drivers walking themselves Archer, along. This is JTAC status. JTAC, okay. Archer, uh, still They've started their Archer engagement with the, uh, eight. hospital itself. Working our way down there. Still no dead, so they're doing okay. Firm, Archer, you can delegate. They're pushing around the corner now. I've got a small team here with Kainsky. Oh! Oh! Kainsky just got nailed. Oh! Oh, this might be bad. This might be bad. Bill's trying to cover the corner. Oh! He got him, he got him, but his, his friend with the MG. What's he gonna do? You got the second guy, yeah. So, yeah, it's just this guy with the PKM. Uh, no, he's decided he's gone for a wonder. <laughs> Alright. Very interesting what's going on so far. I'm hearing some engines as well. I don't know where that's from. Is that in my... Is that... Let me just... Oh, it might be the Striker, actually. Oh, it's the Striker, yeah. Striker's about to come face-to-face -face with the PKM. Striker won. Poor bastard. Well, so far, so good. They are still in the running for a perfect score. Oh, shit! Hang on! Just gotta go check. They've just breached the hostage building. First hostage is secure. They haven't hit the HMG yet. They've got a wounded man on the uh, on the east side, but they're so far keeping it together. Uh, they have two helicopters. They need sorry, two two helicopters, two ho hostages. If I can uh, speak properly, that they still need to get out. Uh, but the first hurdle, the first hostage is down. Oh! Oh! They spotted it and knocked out the HMG in time. Good work. Good work. This is a very clean assault by one two. Oh man. How many uh how many hostiles they got? They've only got one hostile left in this area, and they will have clean sweeped this objective without losing a hostage. Assuming 
they can extract them. Uh, there is still a, uh, the, the driver of the Techno to the north is alive. Um, alright. I'm liking this assault on the hospital so far. It's, uh, oh, oh, I've also found where the IED is. <laughs> it's on the, it's on the, uh, east side of the hospital in those, in those trash. That sort of trashy area. Alright. I want to keep my eye on, uh, on 1-2 here. And see what they're doing. Because, uh, because they, there is every chance, of course, that they panic and drop the hostages, but I'm hoping they're keeping it together. They've only got to get, the problem is, is the last hostage is stood next to a Chidaki. So there's a very real chance that just while brief, uh, breaching, you know, they fuck up. And, uh, all right, let me, let me not play the fucking classical again. Here we go. They fuck up and, uh, nail that poor guy. Yeah. All right. Oh, looks like they've just located that last hostage. Nice work on that. Uh, let's see. Okay. The assault on the hospital is going very well. Got this nice little advance by the troops down the road. Striker rolling into the same position it took before. It's taking fire right now. But thankfully it doesn't really have to worry too much about it because it's not actually going to kill it. Uh, ZSU's... Oh, they're actually Ooh. both down. Uh, looks like, yeah, clear of, uh, clear of anti-air. There you go. Yeah, nicely done. They must have lost some 40 mils or something up there. Maybe yeah, the I'm striker. Sure what they hit it with, but, uh... Oh, here we go. Um, there's a, there's a guy stood at the top of the roof that the striker just can't see. Oh, no, he got nailed. There we go. I'm amazed that they didn't hit the civilian while they were doing this. The civilian is crouched there. He's in view... All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna rush back over to the hostages and have a quick look here. Oh, okay they okay they succeeded in clearing all three hostages. Nice work. Let's get back over to this civilian. That's it done. So far Commander's they're still the running a perfect BODM. score. Oh oh oh, the civilians run out. That actually may have saved a civilian's life because now they can see he's a civvy. JTAC Archer pre-plant fire complete. Oh, uh, the commander has surrendered as well. He's currently running himself around in the open. Uh, and the other two guys are still tied up, it looks like. Some flashbangs going out. Yeah. Starting to breach the building. I'm very interested as to uh, whether or not they can pull this off. Like, so far, this is a perfect run, technically. Uh, yep. oh, 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 no! Checkmate just ran out in front of a BRDM, the full gun down. Yeah, yeah. Did not have his AT ready. He really, Skittles he went for the gold. The he didn't realize. Oh, Severum's down here. I'm going to make sure he's not actually wounded by throwing himself off the cliff as well. Heal, heal your fucking limbs, idiot. I'll just make sure that he didn't break his knees by falling off and, and bleed out kind of thing. Jolly is down as well. Here comes the M2. Yeah. That seems to have knocked it out. Oh, nice. That was good move with the M2. Very good move. I like I like that little the little peek forwards and uh, and popping around the corner with the with the 50 cal. Very effective. Yeah, yeah. Uh, still, all three uh, all three civilians here are alive. Severum is alive as well. They haven't lost anyone yet, but Skittles and Checkmate are down. All right. Let me uh, let me step back for a second. We'll just check how they're doing uh, on the far side. So Atlas. Uh, and Spanish are up north. What have they got up here? Looks like they're playing northern defense, actually, and they're keeping the uh, the reinforcements off of the area. Okay. Yeah, it looks like they've destroyed, uh, actually, several elements. They've done a really good job of keeping those reinforcements off. This, I like. The fact they've actually deployed, like, a rear guard and kept those reinforce. Oh, I say that. And uh, if you look to the west, uh, they actually have a surprise uh, Chidaki force about to show up and, uh, and hit those, uh, those rear guard. So... Uh, yeah, it's actually very effective they're doing that. Um, let's go back to the hostage extraction. Here we go. They do have all three hostages. I think they might be waiting for a bird to come pick them up. Oh, 15 minutes have passed. I mean, honestly, 15 minutes and they're already making really good progress on uh, one objective. Uh, they've destroyed a mortar pit and they're clearing the hospital. Oh, they're trying to catch Severum. He's being a little cheeky bastard, but I don't. They've got to have a guy with uh with fucking the golfers fucking popping at him. Alright, they liked him. They've got to put some cuffs on him. Golfer's coming. Come on, golfer. Come on. <laughs> Are they gonna get Severum? 
You know, he's, uh, most people just go try to go for the ace interaction, but you can actually hit shift F1. Yep. Hey, they've got him. Anyone All right. Surrendered and yeah, they got him. Finally. And uh, just checking, is that civilian still alive? The civilian's alive. All right, nice. So uh, they've nearly Where's cleared the, the hospital. Bring it in. Is Got that pull. guy under the exactly. thing, or is that? Oh no, no, he's actually working. All right, so hostages are getting out yeah. right now in a vehicle. Uh, we've got Let's still some contacts Careful. left in the area. I'm actually making sure. Is he not beneath the earth? No, okay, he's. Oh, oh, uh, never mind. This guy has slid into the building. He gets removed. There you go, weirdo. <laughs> uh, do you it's see where they took Severum to? Him? Oh, here he is. Um, I think they're medicating him yeah. right now. Yeah. There you go. Yeah, because they shot him a couple times too. That's fair. Honestly, it's it's pretty good so far. They're going to have a bit of trouble with those reinforcements as they do still need to clear the hospital. Uh, and that will then give them their points. They have these little uh, this little militiamen kind of south of it running around. They have uh, that one guy in the house still. Because uh, you've got Pusley and Purcell who are uh, who are playing the rear guard, but they don't realize right next to them in the house is a Chidaki. Got a fall, got a fall. Uh, let's see. Yeah, it looks like those uh, those Western reinforcements have avoided the rear guard to the north and are about to hit these guys coming down the main street. There's a pretty big group of them as well. This could be a, a bit of an extended fight. This is where I'd use artillery to defend those guys off. Um, let's see. Ooh. I think, as I said that, something exploded. That might have been a grenade, though. Oh, no, that could be artillery, actually, or it could be daggers as well. Uh, BMP is yeah. currently engaging. Oh, BMP, I think, may be shooting at the ground troops right now, who have Severum. Very interesting. Let me, uh, Parcel moving around the flank to the north, looks like. Oh, there we go. 1-2 is extracting with the, uh, what do you call it, with the hostages now. Oh, my God, the helicopters really love the high-altitude plays. They're very effective go. once they take out the oh, AA. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So they're rolling down that road right now. There's actually a guy in, like, the house over there for some reason, just vibing. Don't know why that guy's doing that, but he's hiding. Oh, here we go. They've just engaged. Uh, it's called the, the, what do you call it? little vehicle at the rear has just engaged one of the uh, enemy reinforcements. Oh, they've knocked him out. Nice. Okay. So they've done good, but they're now engaging. Yeah, here we go. The strikers just uh, started shooting at the... Uh... Oh, no, never mind. The strikers got hit. Yeah. Strikers taking engine damage right now. Uh, they're getting hit by grenades, I think. Not by uh, what it's called, by RPGs just yet. Yeah, yeah. I mean, even then, yeah. those grenades can do damage. Oh, yeah, it's the strikers not that heavy, uh, heavily armored, so yeah. it will eventually break through and destroy the vehicles, so... Yeah, it looks like they're retreating now. Uh, they are still at a potential perfect. They have 100 tickets. Uh, no dead civilians so far. Yep. Okay. Oh, I'm about to hear. Hold on. I'm just going to listen in. They've found a cache. Yeah, they found it. Haha. <laughs> they found the, uh, the hidden one in the alleyway. Fire on that BMP near the cache. Here we go. So we just heard that they're uh, they've spotted the BMP. They're going to strike it uh, with the air support and uh, and knock out that position. Uh, so far, Golfer just ran past the IED, didn't detonate it. Very impressed, amazed. <laughs> also, kind of hoping that Chidaki in the building just like you know decides to turn around and fucking execute him out the window would be very funny. Got to pull from Both of those uh, are good uh, outcomes. Yeah. <laughs> they are 20 minutes in so far. And genuinely are doing the best of any team so far. Have you dealt with the BMP? Yeah, this BMP is probably is the cleanest still? and smoothest run I, uh, so far. Mm, absolutely. That hostage extraction was very nicely done. Uh, and they are actually taking them out of the city, correct? Yeah, they're about to take them back to the uh, to the point. Here we go. Uh, Felix in one of the helicopters, I think, has spotted the BMP. Is just trying to look for a solid laze on it. I think he found it. And that's right next to one I love of the seeing Skytex a little artillery piece it. ready to fire. He's manned his, uh, his boys are manning the guns right here. Oh, yeah. Very cool shit. All right. Let's see. Okay, civilians. Catapult, once more requesting this altitude 
Yay! There you go. So they've rescued those. So that is now... Let's check their tasks. 40 points of tasks completed. They, they've found one of the caches. They know where the pilot is, though they haven't extracted him yet. And uh, they're also in process of handling the hospital. They are doing... No! Really good. I just checked. They've lost their first guy. Oh, who is it? Oh, it's bad. It's rough. It's not good. Kane oh, scheme. Yeah. Yuri down. Nearly epic down. I think that they were hit by the BMP, actually. But there you go. They are now a max score of 109, unfortunately, rather than a perfect score of 110. Uh, I'm trying to figure out whose squad was that? Who was that that died? Let me uh, let me do a quick check back at base. I want to... Yeah, it yeah, yeah. Oh, it was Checkmate who got nailed. All right. Oh, and yeah, that's another good. death, Yuri. That's two points. All right, damn. So, so it's actually four points down. So they're now... The highest score they can now get is 106. Um, however, the civilians in the hospital ha are all clear. They haven't died. Uh, that guy in the building is still going to keep them from, uh, from capturing it. So... They actually need to uh, to sweep the area for that last guy, or else they haven't cleared the hospital. Because I don't think they ever pushed that building. All right, let me uh, do a quick sweep. Oh. So they've got the possible crash site marked, cache marked. Uh, the other cache is still not spotted. Mortars disabled. Well, we're 22 minutes in. They have 48 minutes... Uh, sorry. 38 minutes left. Uh, they're still holding off those reinforcements. I think, honestly, right now, what they need to do is they need to get the... Yeah, they need to get... Okay, they are extracting good. They need to get Severum out of there. Oh! They, they killed the guy in the house! Okay, they got that guy in the house. The question now is, will they get Severum back to base before these reinforcements can get within the hospital area and counters, you know, still contesting it? Um... They may need to leave a force behind purely to deal with those guys, so I hope they do so. Archer, I require AT shells five times slash five meters apart inside the uh, courtyard near the cache. <laughs> All right. Uh, I just listened to their little call in, and uh, they're calling in a fire mission on the courtyard. Say again, you said AT shells? <laughs> AT, if you have it. All right. Um. Hmm. Very interesting extract. Look at this. They're doing a uh, an on foot extract, walking out of the city, uh, walking up to their rear guard with that striker. I'm actually quite a fan of that. Very pretty. Uh, those rear guard guys are engaged in combat as well. They've dug some trenches, which is hard to do in this op. You can do it, but it takes a long time. Uh, but they have genuinely fought off multiple Chidaki attacks. Ah, I see. They're extracting him to the helicopter. Big fan of this. Very big fan of this. Yeah, the Mogadishu Mile. Yeah. The helicopter does seem to be trying to land in front. I hope it does go behind the defenses. Okay, good. Okay, good. The helicopter is 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 going forwards a bit. All right, cool. I was afraid it was going to land behind. But uh, but yeah, they are holding off multiple waves of Chidaki attackers. A um, little bit of a hot LZ, but, uh, but they've still got it well defended, so it should be okay. Well, Look coming at in, yeah. this. My God. Big fan of that. All right. They so they're about to hit. Quick, yeah, they're about to hit the uh, the case with HE. Uh, squad one two has just returned to the city. Still twenty, sorry, thirty five minutes remaining. So they've got a lot of time to play with. Uh, they need to find that crash site. They need to make sure the case is destroyed. Uh, and I think as soon as Severum gets back to the uh, to the HQ, they should have actually completed the hospital objective. Oh my god. Damn, they're doing good. They've got uh, some contacts coming to the north that might give them some trouble. But, man, I gotta say, not stepping in an IED and not losing the striker, at least yet, massively played in their favor. Um, whether or not they'll actually knock out the caches, that'll uh, determine their last points. But, uh, mm -hmm. what's 1 2 doing? If it gets too hot, you have my clearance. Fuck off. I think 1 2 might be heading to the crash site. That's interesting. As soon as that's loaded. All right, they're moving Severum here over into the chopper. Love that. Love that. And... Oh, come on. 
Get him in. Bro, it's not that hard. Come Use the interact. Now. There we go. Here we go. He's in the back of the chopper. And away it goes. <laughs> That's so cool to see. It's pretty freaking cool. Oh, man. I love fucking... I loved it when they, when they chaff and flare as they lift off. All right. Very cool to see. That was a very nice extract. LZ Hectic has successfully taken away the uh, the enemy commander. Uh, and it looks like the and hospital record will time. be... Uh, yeah, in, in honestly, record time. And I think the hospital will be uh, will be cleared as soon as that commander looks touches like it. down. Uh, that was fucking incredible, yeah, honestly. Uh... Uh, yeah, the uh, the reinforcements point just need to fall off. Honestly, the only thing to note now is that they probably just need to get a move on. They don't need to stay here defending anymore. The longer they stay, the more enemies are just going to show up. So they're going to get a move on and and deal with the other objectives. Uh, one two has just dismounted near the uh, near the helicopter. Uh, looks like I'm trying to see maybe they haven't come within range for spawning the patrol yet, but. Yeah, it looks like they're genuinely going to meet no resistance while they take this helicopter. Mm. I think they may just not have been in the spawn range for the patrol yet. No, I... Oh, no, there we go. Okay, the patrol has just spawned. Okay. Okay. So there is going to be a patrol there, but there's not going to be much resistance. The main fear is, of course, that in the firefight, they could catch the, uh, catch the pilot, you know, and, and accidentally kill him. But, uh, yeah, so far, very, very impressive job. Um, let's just, uh... Quickly go see that chopper touching down. Yep, here we go. Severum's just been dropped off. Nice. Uh, yep, there we go. Killer capture Warlord Severum. And in a moment, we should see if it considers the air, sorry, the hospital clear. Actually, make sure there's no one lodged around or hidden. But uh, uh, should be good. Oh, there you there go. All right. So clear hospital. I'm gonna delete one of the civvies as well. Make sure he doesn't run off and kill himself. Is he still? Hang on. Wait, I'm not even looking at the hospital. Here we go. What's your status? How far have you pushed? Oh. Okay. We've just reached the helo. Screw the pilot now. Copy that. Remember, oh, the pilot go. cannot be put in a regular vehicle. You'll have to wait for medevac. Just going to the helicopter pilot, but they got an Copy. enemy squad we'll bearing down on them. Copy. We'll mark a possible LZ for a medevac. Real close. Look at that. I believe that's... Uh, Makuzar goes down. Mangris picked up the pilot. He's carrying him out of harm's way. Bit of a risky play, Footman, but... Footman, move. Gets him out uh, of there. Footman, go ahead. Makuzar wakes back up. head down that blue Rookie's line. Rookie's trying to cover him. Point and help Cheeto secure that craft site. Did you see that fight by the helicopter? Yeah, I was watching. I was watching uh, it. Copy that, Good lord. Uh, also, regarding green set, right, I've got one green set of pace. Uh, one thing for golfer. Copy that. Go. I'll have him come into the craft yeah. site when we pick up the HVT. Oh, yeah, copies, they dumped down. AT mines on the case because of the BMP. Okay, I Footman, see. you were clear to move uh, out to the craft site. And yeah. earlier they dropped a cluster and they wanted to drop an, an AT cluster or whatever. I mean, no, no, they apparently wanted to drop the mines there. I think because of the BMP, that was intentional. So, um, looks like these guys won the firefight without any losses as well. They drove off the, uh, the last two guys. I'm quickly check with Golfer. Wait on. Uh, Golfer, first of all, half time. Secondly, do you know who killed the civilian at the hospital? Was that an armor thing, or was that someone actually shot him? I just, I, I don't know whether you got armor. No idea. I got no report. Okay, that. there's just one dead civvy at the hospital. Um, Figure it out later, I suppose. Where has the other civilian gone? Uh, we got Minecraft working on the pilot. Cheeto. Oh, here we go. He's escaped. Okay, so that civilian, you're gone. Bye, Cheeto. You're going as well. We've marked a possible LZ location to the east of the crash site. We were taking heavy contact. Considering he's on the same southwest. position, I don't think he fell or anything, so I'm going to count that as a Copy that. Scenario. Do your best to clear out that contact. Uh, like, if he got armored or something, then Copy. obviously we'll I don't let you know points, how that LZ is as well. We'll he has just stood in the exact it. position he was cowering. It's most likely. Actually, no, I, I can check his wounds. Yeah, hold on. Hello. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he was shot. Okay. So he was shot. So he's a dead, uh, dead civvy. He yep, uses he, a lot of red for down by this mortar pit again. He was shot. Um, so that is ah. indeed a dead civilian, but uh, but that is still only a, I believe, a negative five penalty. So in a total, they have a negative nine, which means their total score possible is now a uh, 101, which would still be fucking insane if they got that, uh, as they yeah. still need to complete all the other objectives. We are at half time, 30 minutes left for them. 
Uh, yes, that mortar pit is swarming with guys. So that's the thing is, the mortar pits uh, patrols don't actually spawn until infantry get close. All and air signs. always limit this them. This is so... moat. Stay Ooh. away from the southwest cache unknown exact mark. We may get some arty in on that position shortly. They're dragging the, uh, the pilot away. They're being pretty dangerous with how eagerly they are to move them. They're going to have to yeah, find right. a... Uh, a, uh, a an LZ pretty close. So they don't know. Basically, the way this works for those of you at home, this pilot is wounded and he will be killed if he is brought home in anything but a medical vehicle because his wounds are very serious and you can't, you know, drive this man over a bumpy road. He'll die. So you need to put him in the back of an ambulance that will uh, that will actually look after him as he's extracted. Uh, there is a certain area on the map that if he just enters it not in one of those vehicles, he will die. The players don't know where that area is. I do, but I kind of also don't. It's just like a massive area. Like, you know, it's, it's, it's this big sort of marker. Uh, and if the if yeah. the player, and sorry, if the pilot enters that area, he'll die. So the players need to be very cautious when moving him. Right now, he's at risk of death. Uh, if they loaded him into this uh, strike, for instance, they could still move him. But if they hit that zone and he wasn't in a medical vehicle, he dies instantly. So very important All that they get him extracted properly. The possible crap and I'm very worried because they seem to be taking him towards normal vehicles right now. If they don't realize, they might fuck this up for their team. And this will be a friendly fire casualty as well because they fucked it up. Yeah, Happy Man's talking to Mindgris, so I think they're hashing it out. I, I'm really know. hoping they figure out they don't take them in the normal vehicle. Meanwhile, nope, down the south, the, one of the helicopters okay. did strike the southern cache position. It's yes, did it. uh, yeah, down did. to 41%, so it's taking oh, a lot of damage. Oh, but, but here we go. We've more. actually got uh, guys breaching the cache right now with uh, with, with Chidaki's just no, around the corner. It's Cheeto. Go ahead, Cheeto. Mark LZ oh. X-ray oh, for uh, more. immediate X-ray There we go. Pilot. Our, uh, our resident we'll Ukrainian just nailed the, the dude. Copy that. Good How's God. it look? Is Love it to see safe it. enough to bring a <laughs> Hilo in? And there we go. They've pushed yeah, through, taking the cache. It is 100% uh, HP, I think a BMP to the but they south still need to, uh, to plant the site, bombs on it to knock it out. But this LZ should be safe. Ooh. That BMP, by Copy the way, that. is still actually manned. I think it's just disabled. <laughs> they just parked next to it. Oh, the one that's on the other side? Maybe we're yeah. having yeah, the Hilo come disabled. from the east or north, yeah. though, just to be safe from the BMP. Oh, hey, no, they've actually located the last cache. They've hit it with a... With a couple of weapons, but uh, it's, yeah, forty-one yeah, percent. Yeah, 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 wow. Okay, that's uh, what I was talking about but, earlier. We're, we're, Hi, that's uh, what by, uh, and it's by a southern. damn pilot with yeah, yeah. separate perimeter to. Um, I said both kind of southern, but yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, so I, just, I forgot that it was further south than the other one. Be advised so. of a possible BMP in your area. Let's see. So right now they've got the uh, the wounded uh, pilot. They're trying to figure out how they're going to extract yeah, him. They got one of the caches. We should have destroyed the uh, cache. Did they? Hey, let me, uh... Check. Yeah, oh, yeah! The so they did! Sure yeah. That is very much destroyed. Nice work. I'll be clear checking again. It's gonna... Uh, hang on. It's gonna go... Uh, yeah, guys, just confirming that cache is destroyed. One cache down. That cache is destroyed. Geft, your dismounted vehicles. We're gonna get ready to move. Uh, as in referring to the one that Dreamscape's team just blew up. Because I, I realize it just fell through the floor, but yeah, it is it is actually dead, dead. Yeah, thank you, Remy. Okay. There we go. Sorry, just had to let those guys know that. All right, cool, cool. Back over to the fire yep. sport net. And uh, lower my headset again. Nice. Oh, shit. Well, they just nailed this dude with a grenade. Nice work. <laughs> well, that's a pretty good move there. Honestly, we're looking at 25 minutes left. Uh... That's, hang on, let me do the objective checks. Genuinely, they have almost completed the extract the pilot objective. Uh, they yeah, just need to... a, a medical vehicle. Yeah, which I think Gilland is bringing in the uh, medical chopper right now. Yes, the medevac one, yes. So they're going to extract him in that. Meanwhile, they've uh, knocked out one of the caches. They know where the other one is. They just need to make sure it's destroyed. Uh, honestly, they could just hit it again with daggers and they would knock it out, or artillery. Either of those could do the job. Um, but, you know, they need to knock it out. They have 25 minutes. I would send a team to make sure. Uh, but after that, yeah, job is done, and they have completed every objective in the city. And they just need to extract at that point. They've still only lost two wounded. I don't know if we're going to see anyone beat this score. This is insane. Like a really yeah, good no, they've job. they've been doing really, really well. A couple mistakes here and there, but they've been a, like mostly yeah. minor things. And yeah, yeah their no, no major still vehicle losses high. yet. It's been seriously good. They're, these guys uh, are actually working as a rear guard right now, engaging some of the reinforcements. Oh, I just got pinged. 
I'm gonna quickly go check what that is. Every time I teleport, it's next to a 50 cal that immediately starts firing. No, 22 minutes remaining, rather. Uh, they've knocked out one cache. They have just one objective, really, to complete still. Uh, yeah, it's yeah. at Southern Cache in the construction building. We'll see if they mm. decide to go for it. I really I'm hope sure they, I hope they, they will, go for the I think it just needs to be communicated, is what I mean. Yeah. All right, yeah. They're currently holding position like they're, they're doing a pretty decent job of advancing uh, and then holding crossroads against reinforcements. But now is the point where I pretty much just group up the platoon, go for the cache, wipe out anything in my way, and then get the fuck out of the city. Because it's thankfully all south, so that it's, you know, it's a nice easy extract. Mm -hmm. um, oh yeah, there you go. Uh, we've got golfer, the platoon element, and uh, I think that is... Which team is Atlas? It's 1-3, uh, there we go. Uh, they're moving down the road. Oh, they just reported a fire team in the mortar pit. A little bit more than that, but yeah. Oh, there we go. Recovered down pilot. There's a pilot. Yep. Yeah, it is genuinely just the uh, that last cache. They have uh, they have a partial completion on that objective for now. They'll get a full complete if they destroy the second cache. Yeah. That poor guy needs to get an epipen. I think one. I think one of the guys is having a fucking. Uh, Anaphylactic shock. Anaphylactic shock. Yeah, good god, man! Accidentally Holy packed shit. fucking uh, fucking peanuts in his uh, in his in-flight yeah, snack. Yeah, packed a fucking Reese's peanut butter cup in his Aussie <laughs> MRE. Whatever. <laughs> Wasp stung me. The up must continue. Gamer, you just said you're allergic to the fucking thing. Holy shit! Death of Jolly in 17 streamed live. Yes, not deathly allergic. And I put an epi in my thigh. The up must continue. I still want to try an Italian one because they get shots of cordial in them. What? Really? Yeah. Italian MREs. Uh, I think it's like a 50-50 chance for their lunch or dinner menu to come with a shot of uh, cordial. Alcohol. I know I know that, uh, what do you call it, the French get uh, get wine and you have to mix it and you can drink it. It's like it's like a mixed wine. You mix the wine? What? Yeah, it's like a powdered wine, I think. And then you no, mix it. shut up. Yeah, I, I, I straight up. I, oh, fuck, I have to check. I'm pretty sure it's powdered. If not... Just like, but they, I, I know they that absolutely get mine. Awful or amazing. I think, I think they can do this and, and extract in good, in good fashion. Oh, what is Cryo doing? I've just realized. Oh, Cryo just grabbed one of the trucks. Okay, he's on his own though. Hopefully, he can get back without getting murked. Mm. I've got that little uh, truck convoy there that's stored up. Strike is engaging. Yeah, there's just a couple dudes left in the defenses. They're gonna burn their way through those pretty quick. Yeah. Uh, is that BMP active? That was the one that uh, the Oh, it's out of fuel. Gadget. It's out of fuel. It's, uh, it's engine and ah. fuel tank is destroyed, but its turret looks very operational. So if they get close, they might have a bad time. Oof. Oh, these poor guys, though. Spanish is down. Dream is down. Uh, Foosh, Purcell, all of them are down. Hit by a lot of uh, a lot of grenades there. I think that was actually friendly fire. Yep, Dream wakes back up. This is Catapult. ETA two minutes. What's our current altitude for? Let's They're calling on 50 asking if anyone knows where the cache is. <laughs> our Dream's woken up at least. I hope they grab Spanish. I hope they don't lose a few more guys here. If they can keep these guys alive. Yeah, same. They can eat points out. They really need to be calling for medics and, and getting those guys off the guns and onto, onto healing. Because, uh, because frankly, they have the area, but they're just like right on the edge of losing these guys. They might lose Spanish, I think. Maybe Fuzzlers. Oh, sorry, who's that? Fuzzlers. Oh! oh! Horrible! That, that might have been a bad frag. I can't tell. I don't know what the Fushi fuck. and Purcell, both KIA. Atlas went down as well. I'll Jim's have to check. I'm gonna too. quickly. I'm gonna quickly ask actually, because that is important. Real quick. Hello. Was that a bad frag? Hey, we need medics up here now. No, they're they're fucking brain dead. Uh, what do you mean? Explain. Uh, enemy, we're throwing frags into the wall. Oh wait, that was a friendly. Boom. So it was a friendly frag. All right, thank you very much. All right. Holy fucking shit. Awful, awful news. It was a bad frag. It was a friendly frag. That is unfortunately a major friendly fire incident. Uh, and will be counted in their points. This show brought to you by the Bad Frag Podcast. Remember, new episodes every <laughs> week. <laughs>
Not for a while yet. Yeah, sorry, mate. Someone's trying to revive Foosh, but he's uh, he's very dead. And I think someone's pointing Dude, it out yeah. to him right now that he is, in fact, very dead. Nope, never mind. They've oh, all decided to join him. On him. One's a medic, too. Yeah, I, I'm not sure they've realized that your man is, in fact, quite dead. That is... Uh, yeah, yeah, two additional rip. dead, and uh, and that is uh, as unfortunate. They were right at the finish line, and uh, and that friendly fire cost them those points. Ouch! Uh, but the bomb is down on the cache. It'll be destroyed soon, and uh, and it's their time for extract. But yeah, just let me know if if they don't explode because you've, like because the cache is kind of falling to the floor. I'll kill the cache manually, but I need to see the charges go off. Copy that. You don't move. Alki is pinging. Or nope. Oh. What for? Hold on. I don't see. Oh, wait, I, I, uh, I got sent to the fucking uh, nether realm when I tried to check his ping. He's up at the base. I think he uh, crashed out. Hold on. Okay. Okay, where is Dreamscape? Footman, hold your location and just provide security. Oh! Pfft. I'm very stupid. He's next to there, though. Yeah. Uh, it's all right. Dreamscape will freak out a little bit. I, I teleported Dreamscape, not Alki, but thankfully Dreamscape was next to where I was teleporting anyway. That works. Oh! Uh, actually, the, the striker has just rolled forwards. Not to within combat range of, I think, but like within visual range at least of the ambush. Uh, yeah, looks like there's an SPG at striking him from uh, through the trees there. Might be, yeah. Yeah, it's shooting to... over the head of the of the striker right now, but give it time. Yeah. Oh, they've lost a dude actually. Oh no! Yeah, this is bad for them. They lost a man. Uh, they're returning fire, at least. They need to get this vehicle the fuck out of there. They need to know that there is nothing there for them. Charge right. blue did no damage. Yeah, there you go. It's all good. It's because yeah. the charge fell beneath the earth, but the, uh, oh, of course. the actual thing is still on top. But yeah, they need to get the fuck out right now. Yep, objectives all complete. They're now mounting up. They just need to get that striker out of there. If they stay, it's dumb. They've got to jump in the vehicle and get it moving and get it the fuck out. Yeah, I have a feeling the engine is down. Let me do a quick check. You would be right. It's 90% damage, yeah. There's an NSVT up there as well that's, that uh, would shred that striker, and I think it is. Yeah, I just can't see if it's actually in Crows isn't looking quite at it. It's spraying down further along the road. Yeah. Oh, they're getting hit by GLs now, I think. Yeah, they need to they need to make a move it. with this. They need to abandon it and blow it and just get out of there, or they need to start dragging it away with a vehicle. Okay. Copy that, Gap. Two guys down hmm. and you are fully mounted. Let me uh, let me switch up music a little bit. Here we go. Looking. Here comes a little bird doing some gun Beautiful. runs. Beautiful, like that, like that little gun run support. There. That was very nice. Uh, okay, looks like they've decided to abandon cool. the striker. They've pulled back from it. This is where they potentially save or lose some points. This is not good. They're, like they really held it together for so long, but they might lose some points here at the end. They've already lost it for the friendly fire. Um, but, uh, but good lord. Okay, most of the platoon is extracted out to their various vehicles. I'm very interested to see what they do with the striker. You have to get it out of there and blow it. Well, yeah. Otherwise, like, they genuinely, until points. they hit 40 minutes, the only points they'd lost was a couple of them to, like, some civilians and a few guys dying. They were doing fucking perfect. Uh, this striker is going to be at least five points, it looks like. Because I don't think they're setting charges on it as they pull out. I'm talking about five, five airlifting it, you know, I think. Oh, okay. Just heard, uh, just heard two, uh, two RTB orders. So it looks like they are going to airlift it out. I would not airlift this. This is right within range of an yeah, enemy ambush. That's way <laughs> yeah. too hard. Oh, it's gonna be, it's gonna be a real dangerous job. And a I mean, helicopter I shoot down. I think it's possible. You know, just like the flight path itself. I think yeah. it's possible. But they, yeah, actually, doing checkmate seems to be prepping an yeah. AT. So he may be intending to just disable it and get the fuck out. Yep. No, wait. Okay. Yep, okay, they've decided to disable it. Okay. Yep. So they've struck so that's it. it. They've struck it with that. 
Uh, that's actually not done enough damage to disable it. They will need to plant more. They, he managed to hit the, the passenger compartment and do about zero damage. <laughs> but it looks like they think the job's done because they're just packing up and leaving. Okay, just heard them. Yeah, he just said they're going to get air assets to destroy it. Oh, we got hit with catapult. Copy. Yep, there you go. Catapults just struck it. Stay away from the striker. Stay away from the striker. We got hit from the air. They still haven't damaged it though. They've still, uh, they've still just, or not disabled it rather. Do they lose less points if it's disabled slash destroyed rather abandoned? Yes. They lose five yeah. points if it's a vehicle that is disabled or destroyed. But they get, uh, I believe that is three points back. No, one point back if they intentionally destroy it themselves. There we go. Ooh, that must the have done it. Helicopter is hitting it. No, actually, it's it's still not hitting its fuel tank, which they yeah, need to disable it. I'm no, not. the the helicopter is unfortunately just not able to penetrate the striker enough. Uh, so they may lose a point on that. Yeah, it's not bugged. It's just genuinely that they are striking like the passenger compartment Skillish rather shield. than the. Oh, oh, I think that. Skillish wow, yeah, shield. still nothing. Yeah, they've still not penetrated the engine. Oh, sorry, the the fuel tank rather. Anything. Yeah. Like they, they, I don't think they, uh, they know. They, they need to hit it with something a little heavier. It sounds like they're it's be not even artillery on it. I, I don't think they, yeah, I don't think it's strong enough. So they, because if if they hit the fuel tank and the engine and start burning off, you know, they'll they'll see some smoke and they'll know it's destroyed. But currently, yeah, it's some. just engine disabled. Uh, All call signs. Strikers at most resistant to 14 millimeter. I mean, you get remember though, these are a bunch of HE rockets and small rockets at that. These aren't Hellfires, right? They're not hitting them. They're hitting them with actually guided uh, guided hydras, essentially, which are very light rockets compared to a Hellfire. Uh, oh, they took out the turret and gun with that one though. They've nearly fully disabled it. They need three three things for the cannons disabled, basically. Uh, unfortunately, I think the turret and gun are still yellowed, not red. Back. Okay, there's seven minutes left. Passing the checkpoint now. Uh, all forces passing the checkpoint. Yeah, that's gonna be happening here. And yeah, how is it alive? Is pretty, uh, pretty simple. Uh, basically, the striker's engine and all of its important shit is in the front, and they just kept hitting the back. Look what you damage when you hit the back of a striker. The answer is nothing. How many of them have charges? Uh, three, both rifles. Everything scores. is in the front. Yeah. So River if you strike the back of a striker, mark, huh, uh, you do genuinely about zero damage because there is nothing. Uh, you kill the passengers if there were passengers, but there's nothing strike here to actually damage. Accurate. The turret is here. The engine is up the front. I think the fuel tank is up the front as well, or maybe it's on like the side. Uh, Probably yeah, something. Like yeah, that, yeah, it's uh, it's very much because you should reverse a strike the enemy. Unironically, that is a strategy I advocated for in CCO8 when I realized that reversing Bradleys at the enemy is more effective than approaching them from the front because the Bradley's engine on the front, uh, you know, is vulnerable. Whereas on the rear, you just have, you know, a blade of armor. Yeah, you got a whole cabin crew, you know, apartment cabin, whatever, of just space armor. Yeah, it looks like Felix is returning to still make another attempt on the striker. Yep, and so is the artillery firing. They've called in to check the uh, marker was accurate, and it's uh, within about 10 meters. Let's see. Oh, no, their artillery is off target. Oh, hang on. That one was on. Was that a dagger, though? That one was... Oh, there you go. That's knocked out the wheels. That's enough to disable it. Yep, there we go. That's done it. Yep, there you go. Engine, hull, gun. Yeah, it's all fucked. It's done. There you go. They've actually disabled it. Nice work. Complete disable. All right. Good stuff. Okay. All right. All right. I'm going to check that the helicopter returns south. And as soon as they do, I'll call the mission there and we'll go, uh, we'll go score them. Uh, they've still got about four minutes left. We're just waiting on the helicopter to leave the zone before we call the, uh, the mission complete. Man, that was, uh, that was hell of an op. Like, I was really Man. impressed. Yeah. Really gonna be happy to go over that with them and, and do the scoring. I, I think... It was interesting how it, it started off so well, but just slowly deteriorated the longer yeah. they took in certain spots. It was, oh, it was really just rough on that, on that team kill, because that team kill is gonna cost them a lot of points. Oh, yeah, yeah. But, uh, but until that, they were doing so good! And the striker should not have wandered <laughs> off, personally. I don't think that was a good idea at all. Like, you were just looking for, uh, 
for trouble, basically. So we're gonna start. They're gonna start the scoring now that you're here. First of all, we've got to say that opening was the most perfect one we've seen yet of all three rounds. Yeah. Until about half an hour in, you guys were on track to get a perfect score. As in, you didn't have a single... Hot mic! <laughs> anyway, uh, up until that point, uh, you were you were getting uh, a perfect score. You, you know, you were at 100. And, uh, and it was honestly, you did really well. Uh, you guys completed every single objective. And uh, now we're going to go through and score all of your points. So I'm going to just kill the music for a moment. Points. We have, first of all, uh, 20 points for the hospital. You completed that successfully. 20 points for the mortar pit, which was destroyed quite early on. 20 points for extracting both the hostages and the pilot. And 20 points for finding and destroying both of the caches. That is 80 points uh, for completing all four objectives. The JTAC was utilized quite a bit. There you go. 90 points. Uh, up to Sorry, it's now plus 10 points, rather. Uh, all Blue Force forces were extracted south of the city uh, before the operation ended. Uh, so for that, you get another 10 points. Uh, you did indeed use harassing or pre-planned fire, meaning you get 5 points for that. And Severum was captured alive, giving you a score of 110 before penalties. Uh, no. So, oh. so now we, now we go in to do the penalties. Uh, however, I will quickly add in as well, it, you did, after an, a lot of fire, actually you almost didn't do it, but with enough fire, you did indeed disable the striker that was left in the city, so you get a point back for that. So, 111, Yay, let's but, uh, but let's see, let's go through yeah. the negatives now. So, you had four players killed and respawned, that is negative eight. Uh, you have one vehicle lot, correct, there's no extra vehicle I don't know about, right? You guys came back with all the other vehicles? Nope. Yep. Cool. All right. So that striker was lost. So you lose five points for that, but you got one back, uh, one point back for disabling four. it. Well, so it, bad. so it is four realistically. Uh, you did not have any helicopter shot down. Your JTAC was utilized enough. Uh, you had one civilian killed at the hospital. That's minus five points. Uh, now, unfortunately, you lose ten points for the major friendly fire incident, which was the grenade Fuck. that killed two of your guys uh, in the alleyway. Uh, as unfortunately, that was a player killing a player uh, outright. Uh, and that loses you 10 points. So, your final player. score, can I get a drum roll, please? Yeah. There we go. All right, Team Moat takes the lead with 83 points. Whoa. Thank you very much, guys. Excellent work. <laughs> Good God. Thank God I got the earplugs this time and I'm dead. Okay. <laughs> Let us just push us back to the missions. There we go. I'll switch us over to the uh, to the break screen real quick. I'm going to uh, wrap up and uh, thank my subs. I'll see you in the debrief if you'll be there. Otherwise, I'll see you around another day. Farewell. I'm probably going to get a crash. That is holy fine because you have COVID. Sucks. Good night. Uh, have a good, good one. Night. Get some rest. <laughs> All right.